this is your first time to the channel consider subscribing press the bell icon and never miss an update hello people so today's video is an update on the rd so it's almost completed so the things that i did you know away from the camera are i actually got the rear wheel out cut all the spokes took the hub to a lathe and got that leveled now it runs properly uh, and brakes so the only challenge with it right now is uh, the brake pads ha i mean brake shoes have to bed in so that will take some time once that is done um, it will be all fine so the brakes in that are pretty expensive so i hope nothing wrong comes out of it or nothing happens to it other than that um, we went ahead oops and cut the front fork but before all that our camera is back so this video is being shot from the dslr i hope things look better than they do normally so what we did is now we cut this fork by al almost 2 inches and the piston inside was also cut we didn't uh, touch the springs because cutting the springs is going to be a non reversible process in this if in case we want to go back to the previous situation all we have to do is buy new inner tubes these are almost 4 year old inner tubes so there is nothing to worry about if you know even if this goes wrong we can always go back to our original setup um, i replace the oil seals in it uh, i kind of guesstimated the amount of oil that can go so what i had was a 350 ml bottle so i you know i boiled it to be divided into both uh, but there is a slight challenge uh, the front end is very stiff it is not moving much so i have to see how it uh, you know performs on a ride uh, maybe it might do good or it might not the little mechanic is out uh, she broke the remote she also scratched our 55 inch tv which is an excellent job done if you know we were kids we cannot even drop a plate i remember you know uh, you cannot anticipate where the you know who's going to hit you first is it going to be mom or dad but after she scratched the tv and just now broke the remote i didn't say a word because you know i'm a cool dad so that's 155 inch tv gone uh, anyways so um, the next thing is i was actually uh, looking at the uh, carburetor and as you can see there is a lot of dirt and there is a lot of oil also spewing out um, the reason being when it goes when i start opening the throttle the charge starts coming out of this place so it will look rather cool if i mount a gopro there but uh, it's actually losing a lot of fuel so the next thing that we have to do is we have to put filters in here okay since you are mechanically good there is a lot of things that needs to be fixed which comes to you so this just came okay i might have to stick it the locks are broken on this okay so we will fix it oh the little mechanic almost had a fall that's all because of these two idiots okay i need a new stool that is broken and now you can kind of understand how it was broken uh, so she will go inside now take it to her mom and see if mom can fix it anyways coming back to our topic so what i did is i actually uh, tried installing these uniform filters foam filters foam and that didn't go well uh, because this filter was almost 
four to five years old kept in storage so you can see some bits of the filter here but i didn't forget to add the uni sticker which is going to easily add about 5 bhp so i have two stickers so that is 10 bhp you know filter is just something that you fix it's not the filter which adds power to the bike it's always the sticker so anyway since the sticker is there it is going to generate power and uh, well if you didn't understand that it was me trying to tell you a small joke so yeah uh, both the rims are new uh, got all the spokes done um, hand polished the hub which doesn't look much polished but you will be pleasantly surprised if you come to this side look at the hub it's like glass and spokes change there as well um, now what I need to do is I need to start um, you know electroplating things so first thing to plate I will give everything together actually uh, both the silencers both the bend pipes that uh, brake lever there and this gear lever here then the other thing is uh, going to be the headlight ring because that has some damage so we'll have to get that fixed and the front mud cut i'm not plating this as it is good it is just covered in a bit of oil i'm neither plating those guys uh, i have to paint this and uh, though the crash guard looks little rusted i'm not going to paint it as of now because my plan is to get a stainless steel crash guard i know somebody who used to make it so i just have to go there and find out if he still makes it if that's the case then probably yes so yeah that's about the bike let's take it for a spin and see how she rides so that is going to be our next thing in the video so yeah let's do that